Hello everyone, I am Harsh and today we are going to learn Modular application using Prism. Before I start, if you are new to this channel, subscribe this channel to get more knowledge on Prism. In last video, we have learned how to use the region. Today we are going to learn how to use module. As you know, every project have several component or several model, right? And each project have multiple developer which will work on different different modules. So in this application we have these three things. So I want to make it one model like one developer will work on toolbar part and one developer will work on sidebar part. So what I will do I will create two module here. Now here I will add two module one for toolbar and one for sidebar. So I will add class library here. I will search for class library. I will select .NET framework class library and click on next and here I will say toolbar module and click on create in the same way i will create one more let's create it sidebar module click on create now here i will create folder for view and view model add folder views and then view models this i will delete here also i will create two folders views view models and also i will add folder called modules here also I will add now I will add view inside this views folder new item then search for this user control WPF application I will say toolbar view click on add in the same way I will add sidebar to the sidebar module views folder new user control sidebar view add now I will copy this content from here to this toolbar view and in sidebar also I will add this ok now I will delete these two ok now like if you want to give sidebar module to some other developer we can give easily so that he can work independently from other module ok now how to use all these modules to our main window so for that we have to implement i module interface in each module so here add one class and i will say sidebar modules ok and here we have to implement i module interface now we have to add the reference for prism so I will select this and click on OK. Then add the name space here. Prism dot modularity. Implement this interface. And here I will register the region. So here I will say here region manager. And then I will resolve the region manager interface here dot resolve and then I region manager ok now here I have to add prism dot WPF so I will select this and I will click on ok and then I will add the namespace using prism dot regions ok now using this region manager we can register our view like this how we have done here we are writing this one so i will select this and i will paste add the namespace for this sidebar view 
okay here we are getting error so we have to pass region name and then the type so what i will do here i will remove it from here and then type of this view okay now our view is registered with the region in the same way i will add for toolbar okay here also we have to add references add the reference prism and prism dot wpf and click on ok then create the module class add class click on add ok what i will do i will copy paste this thing and here i will change the toolbar region this is toolbar and uh, and this is toolbar view i will comment these two from here because we have removed this ui from our main application let's add the namespace for this now this module part is done i will make it public here also now how to add the module in our main application for that we have to override one method called override configure module catalog and here we will add this module module dot add module and here we will use this to module to register it this one we have to add the reference here so i will add this and in the same way i have to use this toolbar modules and now add the references for this project now the module registration is done now let's run and see you can see we are getting the same result right so now it is our modular application and if you see here these two modules are not depend on each other right we don't have reference for that sidebar module in toolbar or toolbar module in sidebar right so any developer can work independently on all the module okay this is how we can make our application modular and make our application loosely coupled i hope you learn how to make modular application using prism if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends